Well, three years ago, 43rd District Court Judge Joseph Longo came down with MRSA and complications led to kidney disease. Earlier this year, he was facing a difficult life choice. Give up the job he loved or keep going to work while enduring painful kidney dialysis treatments. His odds were long at landing a kidney, but as Jason Colthorpe reports tonight, the answer to his prayers was working just 20 feet away. For the last 19 years, Judge Joseph Longo has been on the bench here in Ferndale District Court, but the last three have been pretty rough. So bad his staff, and especially his chief administrator for those same 19 years, started to notice. I will grant your motion for a 90 days. Most in his courtroom never knew it, but for much of the last year and a half, dialysis treatments had Judge Longo struggling just to do his basic duties. Yeah, there were times when they they being Marie and, and uh, Linda would clear the courtroom and I would sort of crawl in, get in, sit on the bench and then open the doors and let people in. The judge needed a transplant. Normally the wait for a kidney is four to seven years, but because Longo needed someone with blood type O, doctors said it would be more like seven to ten years. You really can't go to somebody and say, Hey, I need a transplant. Would you be willing to be tested? His brothers volunteered immediately, but were ruled out. I was definitely down, and I'm usually of an optimistic person. But what Longo didn't know was that his court administrator, Linda Carroll, who is blood type O negative, had decided to make a life-saving offer. Just to come out and say, I, I want to be tested. It threw me for a loop. Linda, who likes to let the judge tell the story, says their tissue samples were such a perfect match, doctors were surprised they weren't related. After tests were complete in May, the successful transplant happened July 27th. Right now, I'm, I'm the best I've been in three years. I feel great. I have energy. Um, I don't have any pain. Linda is 100% again, too, quietly proud of the bond they now share. It's a very strange position to have received something so big that you can never in a million years, no matter what you did, said, or prayed for, could thank that person enough. And yes, every day I think that's the lady that saved my life. While Linda wants to stay out of the limelight, she does want people to know just how important organ donation is, starting with simply registering, because you never know when it could be you that gives the gift of life. In Ferndale, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. So true, oftentimes your family member, you're not a match for them and a, and a complete stranger like or in, in this case, case. Some of you see every day. <laughs> exactly. It's wild. That's all right.